sure she'd go to some young bastard. Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Are you the only one here? Where are the others? They're not all dead, are they? Shut up! Don't talk to me! Sorry. Everyone, I hope you're all right. survived oh you're doing amazingly the next trial will be the last one on this floor there's so much shit already nothing is going to scare me off now this is the 14th question if you were to propose to your lover how would you do it <laughs> well, which one So that's it. I'm done asking questions. Now, you're almost there. I'll say goodbye to you here. Only a very small number of sheep have ever reached the cathedral. In this century, you're the first. Ugh. I hear there are more holy stairs with red carpet at the top of the cathedral. Get there, but don't let go of what's important to you. If you can, then you'll be free. It's important to me. I don't know. But I'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. In any case, I'm getting the hell out of here. Now hurry up and take me up there. Well, I'll lead you to the next trial. Wait for me, Catherine. This is the final area for tonight. The glowing black hole blocks suck in anything placed on top of them. Avoid stepping on them. Once you pass this area, you'll reach your final destination, the cathedral. Vincent Brooks. How you feel? Who's there? Yourself, 
chained down, right? <laughs> There's no turning back! There's no turning back! Coward! A little more. I'm a dentist. I see. That voice. You're Vincent, aren't you? What a twist of fate. It looks like I'm cursed. You figured something out? I've been cursed by Catherine. How do you get a curse from that? Don't you get it? You're cursed too. It's revenge. For betrayal. Revenge? And the Catherine you're talking about is. Completed the spiral corridor. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. I had a dream where I felt dead. I struggled and struggled, like I was being chased by something crazy. Mm -hmm. Yo, you listening? Hey, Orlando. Man, we've had these crazy dreams every night. So how come we can't remember them clearly? Huh? Now that you mention it, I just I can't shake this feeling. I, I can't remember. The series of mysterious male deaths continues with another gruesome discovery this morning. Local dentist Steve Delome, age 42, was found dead at his home. His wife, who he'd been feuding with, found him dead in his sleep this morning. 
Like the other victims, his body was in an atypically weakened state, inconsistent with known causes of sudden death. Can't be. Hey, uh, you all right, man? Whoa, that dead guy on the news just now, I know that guy. He lived in my neighborhood. The police came this morning. Oh, God, it was so loud. That sounds like a bad way to start the morning. That bastard was cheating on his wife with a younger woman. The entire neighborhood knew because he bragged about it to everyone. What a creep. You gotta feel bad for the kids in that situation. Oh, they didn't have any kids. But still, what a horrible man. Hey, what is it? We met last night. In my dream. Huh? Met who? I remember now. It was him. He died in my dream. Him? The guy in the news? <laughs> that's crazy talk, man. What did he say? But that's right. It's, it's starting to come back to me now. He said it was a curse. Because he betrayed someone. Hey, cut that out. You're trying to tell me he was killed in his dreams or something? You are fucking crazy. Well, maybe not. Think about it. The rumor? Maybe it's true. The dreams we've been having every night. Did you honestly just say that? How does this tie in with betrayal? I'm the one that got betrayed. Yeah. Sorry. Enough bullshit. We just can't think straight because we're too damn tired. We wake up all bleary-eyed and the world's full of rumors. And then we can't sleep because all this crazy shit's stuck in our heads. Y you're probably right. Exactly. I didn't betray anyone. I was the one who was betrayed. So why is... Fuck. I didn't mean to bring that up. I was... I was just thinking. Ah, uh, it's all stupid. Yeah. <sighs> Man. What about you? You dumped the girl you're cheating with? Actually... I was gonna go talk to her after this. <laughs> It'll be a horrible date, but I've made up my mind. I'm ending it. I see. When this is all done, I'm gonna propose to her. To the one I know I love. Of course, I haven't bought a ring yet. <laughs> the ring can come anytime. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Vincent over there. Just leave him alone. Don't get messed up and all that. Oh, hey, there's something I wanted to tell you. Check this out. Yesterday, I finally became a man. Got rid of my V-card. Boom! Uh, wait, back up. With who? Take a wild guess. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Erica? Yep, bingo. Sorry I got to her first, man. Seriously? Yeah, but there's something weird about it. You know, I can't really explain it. It's probably just because it was my first time. Maybe, you know, just my imagination, but... So, so what happened to Johnny? You come here by yourself? <laughs> yeah, he's not coming today. He, uh, looked pretty bad earlier. <sighs> I see. Kinda weird everyone's tired all the time, huh? Vincent's infected us, damn it. Uh, so you see, I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. <sighs> so then, there's someone else, isn't there? I've been meaning to tell you all this time, but I couldn't. I had a lot of things on my mind, and then you came along. I guess I was trying to escape reality. Do you like her more than me? Look, I'm sorry. She's someone I really need to hold dear, so... Hold dear? Wait, so does that mean you're already dating her? I'm sorry. <laughs> well... I don't mind. <laughs> you don't mind? As long as I'm your number one, you can have fun with her. We can just go on like we've been doing. <laughs> well, you might not mind, but I do. Why? You want to know why. <sighs> to be totally honest, she's pregnant with my child. <gasps> so, I've decided to marry her. Y you're joking, right? I I'm fine with that. I just want to be your girl. 
This is so... No way. I, I, I couldn't live like that. I can't see you anymore. Can't see me? But... no. Please don't. <laughs> Who wouldn't cry in a situation like this? This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But there's only room in my heart for Catherine. Look, it was a mistake, all right? <laughs> mistake? I'm not good looking. I, I don't have any money. So no matter how you spin it, I'm no good for you. You're still young. So you probably just went with the flow. So... It wasn't like that! Look, I know I'm being a real jerk, but we need to end this. I'll do anything else you ask of me. <laughs> anything else? What else is there? I'm going to die. Please don't say stuff like that. Just... Catherine, wait! Hey, Catherine, you okay? Do I look like I'm okay? Take it back. I... I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll do anything. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Are you really pissing me off? <laughs> you don't get it. I could do... Anything you want me to. I'm protecting you. Why are you trying to leave me? Ugh. Are you an idiot? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Shit. My spleen. Don't you see you're making a huge mistake? You really, really should not leave me. Even still, I... Stop! No, no, no weapons! Dude, what's up with that? That was Vincent's voice, right? Oh man, I hope he's okay. But that just means I want to be even less involved. Chief? You all right there, buddy? <sighs> We're uh, heading home now. What's the story? You staying here? I don't want to move. Oh, hi, Erica. Vincent, why don't you go home? You look terrible. I deserve it. <laughs> huh? I lied to her. I hurt her, too. Uh. You're just gonna have to swear never to do this again. It's not the right thing to do, but just pretend this was a bad dream. You don't have to try and cheer me up. I need to apologize to Catherine someday. This isn't something I can keep quiet about. Look, just don't stress yourself. Just go home early today and get some sleep, okay? Yeah. I'll go after a couple of drinks. Tonight, I think I might actually be able to get some sleep. Toby. Uh, huh? Uh, yeah, coming.
back. Catherine, wait for me. <laughs> Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? <laughs> I'll tell you a wonderful story. Over 70,000 people die of unknown causes every year in this country. Only 5% of those deaths become clear after an autopsy. Huh? Okay. These current deaths are part of the remaining 95%. There are probably more men who are dying in that way than we are being told. Mr. Justin died this morning. Mr. Daniel died this morning. What? I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow? So you handled the cheating situation, huh? Yeah, but I let it drag on too long. Anyway, now I really learned who was important to me. To like is to want, but to love is to give, right? It's easy to want something, but some people find it harder to give something. Are you an amateur psychologist or something? No, no. I'm just the missionary of love. <laughs> Whatever. Quite tired. Mm. Brought this shit upon myself. It's okay. I settled things. Wine, women, and dice. Those are the three woes. To reel off a recitation from a certain someone. Well, liquor is the closest I've got to any of those. So, drink up. Yeah. Thanks. Time will slowly you pass got me. each time you sit and talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. Steve was killed. Does that mean the rumor about the nightmares is actually real? I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you as you seem to have finished your glass. Liquor is usually consumed for the purposes of getting drunk, but some cocktails exist for the opposite reason. One such cocktail is the Prairie Oyster, made to fix hangovers. The recipe is Worcestershire sauce, tomato juice, vinegar, pepper, and a raw egg. It's meant to be swallowed in a single gulp so that the yolk remains unbroken. Who thought this up in the first place? And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? What would you like now? Sake. Coming right up. Mm. I'm not the only one acting up. This isn't good. I just told her in the beginning I'd never gotten into a mess like this. Whew. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake. Now that you've emptied your sake cup. In Japan, a common phrase to describe a drunk person is drunk as dirt. Do you know where this phrase comes from? The dirt in this case isn't actual dirt. A bug that appears in old Chinese tales is called a day and uses the same character as dirt in Japanese. Day live in water, and when they walk on land, they stagger about like a drunkard. And that was the trivia for tonight. Are you all right? 